All right, so this is where we have Falcon Ghost and Apocalypse Bands. All right, so Boss Island, for Null, Hood or Symbiote Supreme, for Mangog, S99 or Scorpion, for Scorpion, Fury or Magneto, for Immortal Abomination, Overseer or Omega Red, for Terax, Hood or Diablo, for Mephisto, S99 or Void, for spam, any of the half immune debuff detox options, or you can flex a Venom and just play a bit slower. And then for King Groot, Hood, or Symbiote Supreme, there are a few other options as well. Um, one through three on the way out, Thing, S99, or um, Gallon, Path 1, Anti-Venom, any of the debuff detox options. And then for Omega Sentinel, Gallon, or Nebula. Uh, for Path 2, both can be done with S99 or Titania. And for Path 3, you've got Claire or Nebula um, or even CGR. Well, they will probably be glancing, so ignore that. So Nebula or Claire. Four through six on the way out, Mojo, you have S99, Mr. Negative, and Titania. Doom on the way in, S99, Mr. Negative, or Titania. Path 4, uh, Claire there. You've got Overseer and then any other debuff detox option, really. Uh, or wait for the global to come down and take it with Warlock. And then for Havoc, you have Warlock and G99. Uh, path 2, or sorry, Path 5, Kitty, uh, Omega Sentinel, Nimrod. And then for Killmonger, uh, Omega Red, Nimrod actually works. Um could even possibly get away with Doom and Mr. Fantastic Synergy. Uh, path uh, 6 there, CGR, either of the Magnetos will work. And then for um, Apocalypse, you have Cap Sam and Nimrod. Uh, 7 through 9 on the way out, Gallon, Symbiote Supreme Hood with Odin Prefights or Rindra. Uh, on the way in, Maw, you have Omega Red, uh, could also probably use Overseer. Path 7, for Kingpin, I would go strictly Omega Red. Um, it's going to be pretty tough with anyone besides that, considering his rage counts towards the node. You could risk it with uh, White Magneto. Uh, Domino, Omega Sentinel, and Nimrod. Path 8, Weapon X, Omega Sentinel, Nimrod. And then uh, Gore, Hood, Rintra, uh, Symbiote Supreme with Odin Prefights. Path 9, uh, Bishop there, Ultron. Or you could use um, uh, Nimrod, sorry, yeah, Nimrod with Odin Prefights. And then for Cersei, Doom is pretty much the easiest and safest option uh, for her. Could use Hood as well. Looking back at 1 through 3 in Section 2 on the way in, Quicksilver, you've got Gallon, uh, you've got Overseer, um, and then any deep of detox, detox, debuff detox option that uh, prevents evade, uh, at least through like a true strike or something like that instead of slow. Um, Fury, any of the debuff detox options like Havoc or Kitty, um, but you can also use Omega Red, uh, Void, um, any of the debuff detox options that are half immune. Um, so uh, Kitty or havoc although kitty's gameplay does not actually benefit that much from the node uh, from the tactic uh one through three on the way out um joe we've been using valkyrie uh, but you could use technically any skill champ with debuff detox for that node and slap on a white magneto pre-fight path one uh havoc or sorry um human torch there you can use havoc uh or you can use um S99 it hit into block, or you could use Warlock, um, and then Man Thing, uh, S99, Titania, uh, Path 2, Rintra, S99, Titania, and then for Toad, uh, Nimrod is going to be your easiest, safest option. Um, and then Surfer, Gallon, or Hulkling. 4 through 6 on the way out, Chavez, you've got Doom, Mr. Negative. Titania, um, path four there, Mr. Negative, any skill option really that shrugs debuffs or debuff detox option. Path five there, uh, Hood or 
um, Claire for Hulkling and then Gallon or Hulkling for Penny and then Path 6. Really any one Fury, obviously, top option. Um, 7 through 9 on the way out, Arcus, you've got Hood and you have Symbiote Supreme on Path 7. Um, you can Fury the whole thing. You could use any skill option with Debuff Detox. Um, path 8, Hyperion, Hood, or Symbiote Supreme. And then Path 9, Korg there, you could use Kitty Pride or Havoc. And then with a White Magneto pre-fight. And then for Sorcerer, probably go Overseer as your best, best option. Or play slow um, with someone who's half immune and debuff detox. So that does it for defense. Let's take a look at attack. All right, so War 11 again is against Made in Brazil. Today I'm going to be taking in uh, Wags, Claire, and Hulkling. I've got Path 5 in Section 1 and Path 3 in Section 2. Uh, Wags coming only for pre-fights, and it is a pretty, pretty light war for me. So Hulkling here, pretty much guaranteed that I'm getting sent here with Claire as I have in the past. We are going to PS1, we are going to Mystic Boost, and we are going SB2 into uh, Special 3 um, while in Plagued Curse. So here we switch to Plagued, we throw the Special 2 with the protection up and the debuff immunity gone. We get a bunch of charges, so it shoots us straight to special three. I heavy there to max out charges. I throw the special three. It does a big chunk of damage. And what should be happening after this is that I wait for both the protection to return and the debuff immunity to fall. And two times in a row, I forget about the debuff immunity. So it's still there. Uh, the reason that's problematic is, as you can see, we didn't get enough charges back. It's because we didn't prevent any buffs. Um, so about half of our charges are missing, and because of that, I have to kind of play around with how to build the special three and get the charges up while the Fury's still active. So save it kind of, sort of there. Here, protection goes down. Again, I don't wait for the debuff immunity. I throw the special two. And again, not as many charges, so now we have to improvise. He does go unblockable, I think, with this next hit. I think with the timing, I ended up just waiting out. Yep, waiting out the protection. So here we're going to have to parry heavy. I'm going to try and get this out. Now I'm going to throw special three after doing that heavy. And then this time... We are going to actually wait for the debuff immunity to disappear before throwing this special two. So special attack out there, protection comes back, debuff immunity gone. Now we are in a good position. Now we throw it, now we max out charges. Now we get pushed to special three. He's almost gone. Uh, I thought for some reason <clears throat> that I only needed to get a heavy attack in. Oh, no, it's not this fight. It's later. Anyways, combo to that special three, and this one does it. I'm thinking about the Nimrod fight later. So down goes Hulkling. Pretty smooth. Just made it a bit longer than I needed to. We move on. Penny Parker here taking with Hulkling. Um, game plan here was to just build the special two. Hopefully she doesn't either A, have her shield or... Uh, any spider charges, but she's definitely going to have some so we were hoping she didn't have her shield when we got the special two And then we could just parry heavy her and then hit into her block while the intimidate is on Since she'll play passive and then drop the big special two with the fury The first round of this does not work out the way I want it to Because um, we do not get the sink shield down or it comes back too quick um so here we are building the special two. She's got both charges and the shield. Just kind of waiting for her to auto block here. And believe it or not, when you want her to, she's not. So <clears throat> that would really help us build charges, not getting an auto block there again. So I see here that it's just not going to work out that way. So I decide to throw the special two after a few blocked hits here. Just to get a knockdown. And I figure, hey, we're going to go. The other way with it. So finally get an auto block there. Shield's gone. Building to special two. Gonna wait for the protection to fall. 
get this special one out. We're gonna retaliate it with a heavy. She's gonna go passive with the intimidate. We're gonna go hit her block, get unstoppable or unblockable, throw the special two, and with all the furies, we knock her out. So super easy fight with Hulkling. Pretty happy I got to play him this season at least once. And then we move on to our final fight. And it's this Nimrod here. Um, really, it's Chitinous Thorns and uh, Sloped Armor. So we just have to make sure that we stay in uh, Bleed, Curse, or Blood. That's what it is. Uh, curse of Blood so that we are Bleed Immune. And all this really is is Special 2 Spams. Um, I was kind of worried that since I was going to be baiting out a lot of special ones, I was going to get hit by at least one. Um, but when I realized that they're not unblockable, I decided to block the first hit and dex out. When they are unblockable, that's when I try to, to pull off full dexing. And that's when I thought I was going to get hit. And actually, this entire fight actually played it out without it. Um, we do build a one special three, and we kind of have our treasures up there. And I kind of make a call on whatever damage that does as to whether I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and it actually doesn't take a large chunk off. So I just decide we're gonna just combo him, take him out with basic attacks and the special two. And at least we'll stay at full health the whole time. So this is a pretty boring fight. It is a long fight. I guess I could technically throw suicides on here or reco recoil masteries on for this. Um, but yeah, that's uh, this is the fight. Nothing really special about it. There is one moment where I get a special two off right as I'm getting special locked and I don't lose my power for it. I think it's near the end. No, yeah, it's near the end. Nope, nope, it's right there. And because of that, I thought that I was gonna actually get to special three with a heavy here and I don't. <laughs> No, no, so it's not here, it's later. So I end up like just getting smacked in the face. It's gonna happen. I thought it was gonna happen during the whole thing fight, but it's definitely this one. But I actually saw it in someone else's but a video. I think it's Amanda's, yeah. Amanda's video. Um, Alliance mate, who is it? For uh, Loki, I think two seasons, maybe more ago. Uh, but we threw the special attack fast enough that we didn't lose the power when we got special locked. And it's right into special three. So there, see, I still have the power. So I thought building charges here after the special one was gonna get me there and it didn't. Probably had to do with the fact that I had one charge left and I ended up just comboing him down. So that was the end of my war. Like I said, pretty light war for me. Um, our battle group, Compared to theirs, did a good job, but that's definitely not what we want to see. Six to four, we want to keep it two or less per battle group. But we ended up winning this war thanks to the other BGs and due to the fact that uh, Made in Brazil died a lot more than we did. So this win um, locks us into Masters. We're not necessarily locked in the top 10, um, but it's been a pretty good season and Masters is really the goal. So we already achieved our goal. This last war is just really us wanting to be top 10 or not. So hope you guys enjoyed the war video. Hit subscribe, give it a like, and I will catch you guys at the last war.